One of my favorite collections in the archives is a series of loyalty oaths signed by city workers during the 1950s. This was during a time when it was Washington state law for city employees to sign an oath, swearing that they were not a, quote, subversive person or a member of any subversive organization. Such oaths were not unusual during the Cold War period in the United States. Between 1947 and 1956, more than 2,000 jurisdictions across 42 states enacted laws requiring them. Loyalty oaths in the archives date mostly from 1951. They document people working for the city in all kinds of roles across city departments, including the Parks Department, City Light, Seattle Public Library, the Fire Department, Health Department, and others. Although there's not much detail on each form, usually just employee name, date, position title, department name, and signature, each one speaks to a larger context of what was happening throughout the country at that time, and collectively they also provide us with a kind of snapshot-in-time directory of who was working at the city. Most interesting to me are the ones that include small notes of protest, handwritten by a few city workers who resisted complying with the requirement. For example, City Light substation operator E. A. Wishon added to his form the note, Is this coercion? Senior custodial engineer James R. Smith wrote that his oath was signed under duress, and hydroelectric operator August McLave noted that his was signed with, quote, apprehensions for security of fundamental American civil liberties. A 1951 memo from the Law Department to the Civil Service Commission cites these examples of amended statements and gives others, including one from a junior cataloger at the library, Jean E. Hewitt, who had added a typewritten statement to her oath, declaring that she had only signed out of, quote, economic necessity so as not to lose her position. The memo concluded that such amended statements were out of compliance with the state law. As the consequence for non-compliance was dismissal, the memo recommended that employees, quote, be given an opportunity to sign unqualifiedly in view of the serious consequences likely to ensue. Loyalty oaths continued to be a condition for city employment for many years. After a long court battle led by the ACLU, in 1964, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down loyalty oaths for Washington state employees, and the city's loyalty oath requirement was discontinued. For more information about this collection and any others in the archives, just email archives at seattle.gov.